Manliness was the theme of the challenge, and Double O Dave, Punisher, and Ryan came up short, whilst Alex apparently had the opposite problem. Now they must hope their credit with Megan remains in good standing. You know, there's no way I'm going home tonight, because every time I show a picture of my something good happens. How can Megan refuse something like that? I'm pretty scared. I really screwed up here because I dropped a challenge. At this point, Megan sees me as a quitter, so yeah, I do have concerns. Hello, my ten millionaires. Hi, Megan. Hello. Hello. All right, let's get started. Corey, come here and present your card. Corey is not going anywhere. He's staying right here with me. You're like Ken doll and I'm like Barbie. <laughs> and your credit is good with me. Thank you. At this point, I think I'm pretty far out there in the lead. Well, it feels great to know that I'm not going anywhere. Al, come down here, present your card. So, making out in a hot tub proves the winning formula for Corey. But how would freezing in a moat work out for Al? You're not going anywhere. Thank you. Big Mike, come here and present your card. <laughs> your credit is good with me. Francisco, come here and give me your card. I think that you're very interesting. So keep your card. Cool. Ryan, come down here. Even though you lost to Corey in the challenge, I know you tried really hard. So keep this card for now. Your credit is good with me. Come on. So Megan calls me up. I give her a big, wet kiss. Just to rub it in everyone's faces. Humble as ever, Mr. Ryan. Sex Toy Dave, come here and present your card. Here's hoping Sex Toy Dave learned a lesson in dating. Megan calls me up, and it's pretty early. So I'm thinking my credit is good with her. We went on our first date today. Finally had a chance to talk. Yes. When I got home from the date, I was curious, and I looked at your website. Okay. And I found some interesting things. <laughs> <laughs> like an interview that you did. Which one? The one where you said that you went on another dating show twice, and that you said that you mainly did it to promote your business. You also said in interview. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that you didn't think you could ever find Miss Wright on a reality show. It just makes me wonder how serious you are. You know, I don't... How serious you're taking this. I don't... I'm not... It's very serious to me. I can understand I that you're a businessman. Yeah. And I want everybody here to be focused on me. 100%. Primarily. Yes. I understand these guys work a lot. That's how they became millionaires. But for a guy not to be invested in me, that is a deal breaker. So... Sex toy date. <laughs> Your credit has been declined. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity there. Mm -hmm. Nice meeting you. Well, as uh, Sex Toy Dave, yeah. one of the largest distributors of adult products on the internet, owner of many of adult properties, including dot com, dot com, I'm very disappointed to have lost this great marketing, I mean, this um, opportunity to find true love. I don't suspect there'll be a Mrs. Sex Toy Dave for quite some time. I hope that has shown you a little bit about how serious I am about this entire experience. There are four of you left. I wonder if you all be approved. Megan's a woman. She's very unpredictable. I don't know if I'm going. I don't know if everybody's going home tonight. What up? It's the one and only David. To catch all the behind-the-scenes moments that were too hot for TV, log on to megan.vh1.com. For millionaires' fates hung in the balance, and Megan knew what she had to do. Sex Toy Dave just went home. It's like the downhill spiral of the ball going down the hill. I'm done. TJ, come here and present your card. You are handsome. Thank you. So take this card. Okay. Your credit is good with me. Thank you. 
Punisher, come here and give me your card. There are some bad boys in this house, and a Punisher may come in handy. I'm on it. 100%. You can keep this card for now. Your card looks so good. When I finally get called, it's like such a relief. And tomorrow's another day. I'm gonna make it happen. Count your blessings, Punisher. Your martini tasted like aftershave and bath water. David, come here and present your card. So it's down to me and Aquaman, and I'm thinking there's no way she can send me home. This guy quit. This Captain Scuba Diver, Scuba nothing. You gave up when I wanted you to be my hero. I need a man who will stick with me thick and thin. I think... I need some more time to think about it. Here's your card. Your credit is so good with me. David did disappoint me by quitting the challenge, but he is sophisticated and generous, and that may be worth keeping around. Alex, yeah. aka Alaconda. I have no idea what to expect, you know, based on what's happened so far. Let me just walk up, see if I can, like, maybe convince her with a smile or <laughs> so. I don't know. The past couple of days, I wanted you to step up your game. Yes. And you did. You definitely did. <laughs> Thank and you. And then some. I like my martinis dirty, but not necessarily my conversation. Oh. I think that you have a lot to learn uh -huh. about winning over a woman like me. Okay. Your credit's on the climb. Thanks for the opportunity. Sorry. I had to let Alex go, but there's a part of him that I will never forget. Ever. Take care, guys. Bye, Bye Alex. I'm really upset because this was an awesome experience. I don't really regret what I did because that's just who I am. She sounded like... And then she sends me home. What? Does she ever want pleasure in her life? So Double O Dave thaws out and gets a second chance from Megan. But Sex Toy Dave runs out of batteries at elimination. And Mr. Alex and his Alaconda... Oh, perhaps it's just best we move on. Eight millionaires remain. <laughs>